Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna at this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. Uh, in first look it looks a problem of this format which is PP plus QQ equals to R where P, Q and R the capital ones are the function of X, Y and Z. So this is a, a Lagrange's format of problem where we first write our auxiliary equation which is nothing but dx divided by capital P equals to dy divided by capital Q equals to dz divided by capital R. If these three are sufficient to form two equations then it's fine otherwise we move to the forming uh, move to form some more fractions using multipliers. So let's see they are enough or not. So let's write our auxiliary equation. So your p is the coefficient of small p which is 1 here. Similarly your coefficient of small q is also 1 and if you look at this carefully r is on the right hand side so you can write this as p plus q equals to minus 2xz so you can write this as dz divided by minus 2xz so the first two we can easily group them together so we get dx equals to dy let's integrate them integral of dx is nothing but x integral of dy is y and there we get c1 so you can get easily x minus y equals to c1 and you can also let this as u. I am moving a bit fast forward but these are things to be understood because we have solved a lot of problem if not do a practice of at least 4 to 5 problem at least at most you can have a lot of problems solved on this topic it's an interesting one. So what as we can do we can uh, see that uh, going with second and third one is not a good option because we have xz present there so going with first and third might be a good option let's check with that so dx equals to minus dz by 2xz can i take 2x to the other side so 2x dx equals to minus dz by z let's integrate them integral of x is x square by 2 i also have a 2 here so 2x square by 2 dz by z log z fine and uh, you get a constant which uh, I can take as log c2 fine or c2 simply don't make it complex so x square plus of log z equals to c2 c2 you can also name it as v there you get your equation number two things are over because final we have to write as phi of u comma v equals to zero so there you go phi of u and v is your x square plus log z equals to zero there are other ways to write the same answer also phi of first one equals to x square plus log z or someone on any other planet will write this like this x square plus log z equals to x minus y different people different thinking different answers so that's all normally we prefer this one you can write any one of these so that's how we did this problem not at all difficult 
method of grouping was sufficient for us multipliers were not needed which is something uh, becomes a bit of headache if you are not able uh, the multipliers are not able to you are not able to strike out the multipliers that what multiplier will be used how can we find that so method of grouping was there so no need to think no need to worry so you can uh, see a lot of problems are there in my playlist on partial differential equation based on this single concept method of multipliers only there are other concept uh, also but this on this method has solved a lot of problems so do visit that once in your life and share that to your friend as well so that's it from my side thanks for watching this video thanks again